welcome back everybody so we're gonna jump straight into a mission today we pulled off a good one yesterday um, but we're gonna go right into a mission today I want to get in and get this uh, one skull mission out of our way today it's a uh, 521 salvage against clan Barak it's a destroy base mission I think we should probably be okay at one skull against the clans we've been doing fairly well um, even if we don't get a uh, lance down with us we should be all right I think so let's get our team into place here now we're just shifted because the last mission we had a uh, a mech drop with us uh, our Farazan and we want to get the locust 3v correct r12 sheath yep that's the one all right hopefully we can get the uh, the UAV going today with this mech see how it works let's deploy all right here we go destroy base looks like we got a unit down with us Um, let's get out there and do this, eh? All right, what base are we looking at here? Oh, this map. Oh, yeah, man. This is a kill zone here. This whole area is one big kill zone. Oh, it really depends on what kind of turrets they have. Um, got a couple of choices. So... This offers good direct fire protection. We've got a couple of rocks here for direct fire protection in the woods. Also depends on what kind of star they've got here. It looks like they've got a full star plus a support lance. So I don't know if they've got two lances here or what this is. I hear you. What do we got on our side here? A fire starter, hunter. What else do we have here? That's us. Are they standing right on top of us? Looks like they are. And a scimitar. All right, well. Yeah, let's get over this way. Try and use some cover and our speed. Now we're gonna send GV along with this guy. I think actually all of us, we're going to rotate left, I think. Get some distance between the far turrets and us. Do I have a good idea? I know, I know where the base turrets are. Let's get back here. I'm trying to spread out a little bit. So there's turret here, turret here, turret in the back corner, and turret up on the hill there. Don't follow us. Okay. Um, what can I do for you? Pedal to the metal. A little bit of a flank and spank, hopefully. Okay, what do we got here? Gladiator 55, Hunchback, Standard Streak LRM turret. Okay, they need direct line of sight to hit us, which is good or bad, I don't know. Okay, that's like an adder or something? Yeah. I really want to kill that turret. That's what I need. I also need you to be hidden from the turret. That hunchback has his back to us. Shoot, can I, I can't get a shot at him without that turret seeing me. Alright, well. We need to take the shot.
Gonna start off with some Hydra because we're gonna spill it over to the turret, I think. Uh, it's out of range? Really? Shoot. Wow, that's nothing. Okay, who is that? Is that a thorn? Thorn. Arctic cheetah. Okay. Yeah, let's keep our ammo. I'm hoping we can pull these mechs away from the turrets, but I don't know if that's going to happen. How much armor does this turret have, though? 192. Hopefully they've only got direct fire turrets, but we'll know soon enough. Shoot, they got two lances. I don't think we have enough fire support for this. Gonna get pasted here if I move out. Gonna get pasted anywhere if I move. All right, let's get into here. Full throttle. Start off with this. Enemy structure damage, Commander. Okay. Warning. Armor low. These barrages are gonna be crucial for us to uh, survive. I'm wondering if we just try to get in and blow that facility and get out of here. Hate to leave all this salvage in the ground though. I should probably call for a withdrawal. We've got three turns to wait. We can, if we're doing well, we can always just not jump, like not leave. But we've got the speed. So we should be, I mean, we should technically be able to just stay away from them if we had to for three turns. But if we can get, I should have saved that barrage for the base, but if we can get in and get a shot at that base. Because in three turns our barrage will be back. Okay. Okay, not bad. Hitting them. Yeah, hitting them. If we do go with the barrage, though, we should probably bring it up here. Okay, he ran into a minefield, it looks like. It's nice and toasty. How badly damaged is this turret? Really badly damaged. Let's see if we can use our barrage to take out this chopper and this turret next turn. This is from the um, from the uh, trebuchet. There's a Zora light tank in there. I think a witness can keep distracting them. Maybe he can drop a UAV ping on them. Come on, buddy. Hit something. Okay. That's that street turret. Damn it. That's all you've got. Don't tempt fate. I'm receiving you. Uh, you're gonna reserve.
No, they don't like witness very much. Okay, Arclight. Um, let's walk it, get our stability back. There's at least there's no arrow shots on us. Right there, I think. Hopefully this gets the turret. This is a good shot. How far in can we get it? Okay, the barrage can reach right to there. I think that's probably the good... I think that's where we hit last time. Let's do that. Confirm it. Oh yeah, there goes the chopper. Turret's still there, but that's fine. We get the vehicle too? We may have. Okay, now we got three turns to wait till our um, I'm gonna call for the withdrawal right now just in case uh, but we're doing okay I'm not that worried about it do I want to get in and shoot this turret we can see the turret from here nothing else can see us though kind of a good position let's move in and do it if we can finish up this streak turret Friggin' dangerous turret, that's for sure. Alright, firing. You betcha. Another hit like that, and you're toast. Nah. We gotta hit it with the X-Pulse, the bigger one. Hammer. What turret is this now? Does it say what it is? Light streak LRM turret. Okay. Got to be able to see us directly to use those, so that's not so bad. So we're going to fire, then maneuver the Talos. Oh, nice. Keep up the pressure on that hunchback. So it looks like we've taken down three. One of the base garrison and two support lands. So the chopper, there must have been another vehicle or maybe another chopper in here or something. Did that hunchback fall down? Or did he die? What? All right, going after the turret. Shoot. Enemy mech. Critical damage. Turret system's destroyed. I don't know what the hell that means. Let's get into here. <sighs> it means he's going to get a shot at the uh, locust. Well, we got GB still. Going on 10. I don't know if we can get in close enough. How much you don't know how much he's got left here. Not a lot. If we can get the flamers close enough, we can finish him up, but it's gonna put us in a precarious position here. Maybe that hunchback did die. Looks like he's lying down right here. Did I miss that? Oh cattle master. Did I miss that? Yeah, looks like he died. Did he bail out? I'll have to go back and watch that. It's out of range with the uh, flamers. God damn it. Use up our resolve with the vigilance here. Got to get the hell out of there. We're going to get in. we got to kill this turret. Here it comes. Welcome, my Nicely done. Target neutralized. Thank you. Like very much. So I did try to do a couple of modifications to the mechs. I wanted to put the uh, LRM-10 clan in the center of the Jenner here. Thought about pulling off the heat sinks and stuff. The only problem, or the jump jet, sorry, um, to add in more ammo for it, but 
The only problem with that is the uh, LRM10 clan is eight. Is it 18 heat? Yeah, it's 18 heat. It's much hotter than a regular LRM. So can't do that. Yes, okay, beautiful. Let's fire and maneuver this one. It's a back shot on this guy. 50, okay, we don't have a good shot anywhere else than this guy. So let's take it. It's not really going to affect him all that much, but as long as we're out of the way of the streak turrets, it's all I care about. Is there a better place to move? Maybe back here, I think. Let's back it up. Onward. We don't need to be in close. Okay, we got witness now. What can I do for you? We don't have an attack. Um, but we have this. Okay, we got four of them. Ping, beautiful. We're just gonna back our ass up over here. Don't need to tell me twice. Yeah, man, don't stay there. Okay, we pinged our enemy. Uh, where are we here? Here we go. Got that streak turret out of the way with. Now, who's more dangerous here, the Clint? SRM six dead fire, pair of medium pirates. An acid gun. This guy's a, a large and a pair of mediums. Uh, this guy is obviously not that much of a threat. Arctic cheetah. Mm. We know this guy's dangerous, but he's super heated right now. Actually, let's go ahead. Can we drop? We can. Let's go ahead and drop. Um, if he's in range, that is. He is in range with the Hydra. Let's drop some Hydra on this guy. Let's keep him quiet. We're going to back up. Position confirmed. I want to stay at a direct line of sight of the turrets if I can. Oh, nice shot. That's our next target, is the adder. We're going to move the Talos back and strike the adder. See if we can finish him up. He's lost his arm. LRM-15 clan gone. Yeah, I also looked at the Talos, putting a couple of the, the two LRM-10 clans that we have in there. But once again, like I said, they're 18 heat, which is even hotter than the LRM-15 that we have in there right now. The LRM-15, I think, is only like 14 or 16 heat or something, whereas the clan LRM-10s are 18 heat. So without extra double heat sinks, we just can't do it. And I wanted to drop the X pulse, the second X pulse, into the uh, the locust, which we can do if we remove the flamer and a couple of jump jets. Um, but once again, I can't drop the dr double heat sink kit unless I have double heat sinks. So there's a lot of problems right now. We're just missing gear to be able to upgrade the way I want to. So hopefully we can find some stuff that we can use here. Double heat sinks would be n really nice. Then we can use that double heat sink kit. If we get a clan double heat sink kit and some double heat sinks, that would be even nice, nicer. Exchangers would be beautiful at this point. Okay, let's move to here. Gonna go after this guy, I think. 33, huh? 17, 46 on the turret with our LRMs. Let's leave the rocket packs off for now. We got 46 on this guy. Now I think we take the chance and try and strike the adder here. Now can we, I don't think we can use the dead fire now. All right, we're just gonna fire. Yeah, the large missed. All right, a couple good hits with the LRMs. A little bit of pen. That's a minefield, I think. Can't forget this Bessie approaching from the left here. As long as these turrets can't strike us, we can clean them up one at a time later on. Okay. Okay. 
it's nice to see that some of our uh, support here is actually kind of bold moving up attacking the enemy I was worried that they were just going to sit back there the whole time and we'd have to face like you know 10 mechs and the turrets but looks like it's only nine mechs and four turrets at this point it's six mechs and four and three turrets so sorry I'm just taking my sweater off here okay so uh, witness I think we try an adder strike I think if we maybe we can push this adder Yeah, we can't even get up into the... That's going to put us in turret uh, sight range. Hmm. We could pull back. Let's pull back. Moving to position. Mech is on fire. That's because he's so awesome. Let's take a shot at this guy. I know we're hot, but we got our ping back next turn, so we're going to use that. No, man, you're 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 friggin' good. You don't need any time in the simulator. Everybody's got their good battles and their bad battles, and you've had more good than bad, so I can't complain at all. Yeah, he's just, like, roasting. Okay, Arclight, um, let's capitalize on that guy not wanting to come out, and let's go after... I want the Gladiator? Okay, switching this around. No, we want to stay on Inferno on the Gladiator. We want to keep this guy nice and toasty. Uh, we got our big guns up. The X-Pulse, 70% chance to hit from this range. It's awesome. Okay, here it comes. Oh, shit. Did we kill our own guy? No, he's still alive. We did some damage, though. Well, <laughs> I want to say it's payback for the past where they've actually hit our guys, but I'm like... Mm, it's not the same mechs as before, so it's not really payback. It's just, you know, me feeling good about not being hit this time. God damn it. Either I expose or I don't. Um, let's hold off. Standing by. We'll take an attack of opportunity here after those guys go. Now, the Talos goes on 9. They're going to go before us. I didn't want to take the gladiator at this point, but okay, that guy's running. But it's a good it's a good uh it's a good strike, I think. He's really exposing himself to us, so we might as well take it. Let's see where he goes. Now, he might decide to melee that vehicle, which I think if he's in a desperate straits, moving up here to this side and meleeing back this way would be the way to go because if I if I wanted to get him I'd have to expose myself to everybody else to get him from behind so moving over here and meleeing would be the way to go he's on phase 14 now so let's have a look and see what he does our guy just reserved I think the fire starter let's find out what he does he's toasty and unstable so oh he decided not to do anything this guy's decided to commit suicide, though. <laughs> it's the groin flamer. <laughs> I piss napalm. <laughs> um, okay. Sorry, I had to say that. <laughs> it just, it just looked ridiculous. Stop lubricating the vehicle. All right, phase 12. Is that us? Just going to stand there, huh? With a target with his back to you. You're just going to... Sure. 
At least it's not the Centurion turning his back to the enemy. Oh yeah, lay a minefield so your vehicle's got to drive through it. That works. Ooh. That guy took that right in the face. Ooh, a pen too. What did he shoot him with? There's the Crapple Master moving in. Oh, you're going to regret that. All right. Arr, fair is on. Let's get into here. Going to save the rockets, but we're going to go after this guy's backside. Switching it up to dead fire. Good chances to hit. Here it comes. Oh, there goes the leg. There goes the mech. Told you. Guy just committed suicide, man. Let's give this a shot. We're going to have good chevrons of evasion here. Got four. All right, the turret's in sight, but this is a really good chance to go after this guy. Uh, let's do a multi, though. Let's go after you. Um... Forty-three with the incendiary on that guy. Sixty-three on that guy. So we'll go. Uh, we'll go with incendiary on the other guy, but we'll hit the flamers on this guy. One for you and one for you. That looked like four hits to me. Beautiful. Ooh, okay, that's an AC turret. Sounded like an ultra ten to me. Okay. I don't think we need to retreat at all. What can I do for you? Um. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. There's a reason why I'm doing this. I'll show you in a second. Okay, we're gonna move up here can't target this guy but we're gonna do the EW the uh, ping up here got the adder beautiful that's what we wanted uh, this is a multi-target gonna shoot this guy with the lasers and this guy yo yo gladiators probably got stealth Uh, oh, it's probably because these are set to, uh, let's do this now. Set to SRM. Oh! Alright, that's that. It's direct fire. Alright, we're going to go with the Hydra against uh, B. So here it comes on A. Okay, a couple of good hits. Not a kill, but he's burning up. Yeah, he's on fire. Copy that. Back the fuck up. Back it up. Back it up. Okay. We're enticing this guy to bring his PPC in. Nicely, nicely done. Left leg gone. He's going down. Now my question is, do I go for a kill on that guy or oh, the adder's running? Never mind. It is the kill on that guy. Oh, you shut down. Maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, we don't have a shot on the adder, but we do have a shot in this turret. We could switch up and put the barrage on the turret. Uh, let's do a... Oh, shit. If I do a multi-target, I can't target this guy's leg specifically. Do we have enough to take that leg though? We do if everything hits it. So I gotta shut that friggin autocannon and tear it up. Let's go here. Hmm. 
Not a lot of back armor. Um, Let's go this route. Engaging multiple targets. Ooh, good building damage. Strip the armor off the turret. Adder's gone. Enemy mech destroyed. Good building damage. I don't know if it's enough to kill any of the buildings. Oh, it was good enough to kill two. Okay, so that was a bonus side advantage there. They got four guys left. Four. Who do they have left here? The Bessie. Gladiator. The Thorn. I'm here. Let's see if we can ping a headshot off this guy. Firing. be in the fire here but that still gives them a shot on me Yeah. I'm walking here. It's not the best place. But it's a safe enough place, I think. This guy is like serious trouble. We didn't get a headshot though, did we? No. Most of the damage looked like it went to CT there. Okay. I think what we might do is use the Hydra ammo against that uh, turret, that last uh, AC turret there at the front. That'll open up all of this terrain to us. We'll be able to use this terrain wherever we want it. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, he's panicking. He's a panicking. Streak turret hitting me. That's fine. Can't get out of this with no damage. Now we could strike that last building with these two guys. You know this would have been a very different battle if we didn't have that lance with us. Ow. This guy here especially, he's done a good job. Where are you going? Apparently nowhere. Hopefully he hasn't crashed. <laughs> nope, I guess he, I don't know what the hell. I don't know, I can't even comment, I don't know what the hell that guy's doing. All right, let's get this, see if we can get this other turret here. No sweat. This is our job this turn. Affirmative. Gotta get this turret out of here.
Don't got the jump range. That's a direct line. Oh, it's not. It's an indirect line of sight to that turret. So I think we're okay if we move here. Or are we? You know what? Let's reserve GV. Let's hold off. To Thank you. The, glad the gladiator is most likely going to be his target. We just got to figure out when to move. I might reserve him right back and then have him move in and pounce. We'll see. So I'm going to have arc light multi target. We're going to target this turret over here on the right, and we're going to target the cattle master with the SRMs or the, uh, sorry, the uh, medium lasers. This guy's pretty much done. Like he's he can't sink any heat at all, so it's not like he's gonna be shooting anytime soon. If he does, he shuts down most likely. Okay. Um standing by. Let's get into here. And that, and that. How much hydro we got? Four turns. Four turns of hydro left. Wow, really low in the turret, eh? Uh, we could put the barrage in the turret instead. Wow. Let's hold off with the barrage. Let's go this route. Confirmed. Okay, good shots at the lasers. There goes the turret. It's a lot of damage. One less turret. Thank you. Thank you very much. So this guy's lost. What leg has he lost? The left leg. So we want to take the right leg, which is this side. Or we could just shoot him straight up in the back. If I throw the rockets on, it's pretty much a kill. Let's just finish up the gladiator. Let's get between the Bessie and or the uh, Cattle Master and the turrets. Hopefully the turret's missing, hit the cattle master. Alright, they're down to three. Cattle master, the thorn, and something. Which might be caught on something over there. Sure, drop a minefield right on top of us. That's just beautiful. So glad you're on our side. Guy's still running. Alright, GV. Keep an eye on those guys for me. Whichever one's easier. Sure. Firing on target. Yeah. That's the miss. You can't push him by yourself. So just hold on. Not with just not with only four flamers or not. Nicely done. Okay, witness. Waiting on you, Commander. What 
what do we got here? Do you have any cover at all up here? I think this puts us in a good hidden zone. Six points of mine damage, it looked like. It's not good on the Locust. Uh, we're going to leave the Flamer off, but we'll fire the X-Pulse. Ooh, nice shot. Keep that guy running away. Oh, we do have someone back here. What is it? All right, well, that's the Arctic Cheetah. That's right. I forgot all about that guy. He just kind of vanished on us. I guess he's trying to run away. See what we can do to this guy. There he goes. Go down. Thank you. Aye, aye. Let's try and close the range on this other turret. Uh, you know what? Let's go for a cheetah strike as well. Let's confirm this. Copy that. Okay, really good damage on that turret. I hate these guys. Do ya? Um, sure. Keep that guy from being in our midst back here. Uh, of course there's a minefield on the way. Okay, move into here. Looks like we got our barrage back in one turn? Do we? Maybe? Just a mop up at this point. Yeah. I hear you. Can we? We can get a shot in the Arctic Cheetah. No matter what we do, we're going to be exposed to both turrets. So let's pull back here. And work on this turret. No sweat. Ugh. Terrible. Terrible! Okay, let's burn this guy. And here it comes. Really good damage. Okay, arc light next. We got our um, one MML. Oh, he's decided to engage. Arc light's got one MML left. Let's work on that turret. And firing. Engaging target. Nice. There it goes. Target destroyed. Got 
Come on, knock that turret out. I want to be able to fire against the Arctic Cheetah. Nope. Okay, well. Let's sprint it up. Now, do we have medium laser shots from here? Heavy medium, we do. I wonder if I should drop... Ah, it's really hard to hit that guy, eh? Alright, let's go this way. Nice. Okay, one building, one mech left. Okay, GB is going to be going first for us. Eh. Let's get some heat on this cheetah. Waiting for orders. Just going to walk it over. Gives us a better chance to hit. Let's apply the heat directly to this guy. Two hits. All right. All right. Just use the flamer, you're overheating right now. Special delivery. Yeah. Systems recycling for another shot. No matter where you go, eh? Let's come back here. Yeah, I know. I made you go through fire. It's my, it's my fault. It's my fault. That nice red line on him. Ooh, really? Let's clear this building. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Oh, that's it. Oh, right, because that guy was part of the support lance. Ah, oh, damn. All right, contract payment increased by 20%. Didn't get the support lance. I forgot that that last guy was a uh, member of the support lance, which doesn't really count against uh, like whether we retreat or not. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, bunch of mech parts. Jeez, we could take a hunchback. Although I don't think I'm ready to jump up and wait right now. I, I kinda I'm kinda like the the lower level here. We got adder parts as well. We got one, two, three, four. Could take four adder parts. A couple of ATM sixes. ER mediums, LRM fifteen, LRM ten. How much heat is this? Twenty three? Streak fives. Regular clan armor, primitive armor, battle computer missile, clan endo steel, which would be nice. XL engine. At this point, that's just C bills. Clan Pharaoh, we have. Guardian ECM, we have. Clan double heat sinks. Primitive sensors. Regular sensors. Spiked fist. That's a possibility. The ATM sixes might be a possibility too, with HE ammo. And that's it. Not a lot here, eh? Not as much as I was hoping for. Ultra autocannon twenty ammo. We're having a hard time finding that for our, for our ultra twenty, and I want to get using that soon, but. We'll see. Now this ATM-6, how much does it weigh? I think it's like three and a half tons, if I'm not mistaken. Three and a half. It's basically like an SRM-6 that weighs a half a ton more, but way longer range and way more accuracy. You can put 10 turns of HE ammo in this thing. Possibility. The ER medium's nice too. 
Heat's 21, though. Um, I wonder if we just take that and the four adder parts. Because until we get better heat sinking, we can't really do anything. Alright, I think we go this route. Let's just do this and see what and just see what else we got here. Okay, the four outer parts, cattle master part. Uh one, two. Gladiator parts, two hunchback parts. Okay, this is getting closer. Heavy rifle, LV five X, LRM five, Narg Launcher Clan, Core. Some ATM ammo, some LRM ammo, LRM streak ammo. Okay, interesting. Alright, we got ripped. Not a good roll. I mean, we got the good. We got some good mech parts, but yeah. Okay, twelve thousand. That's a, that's actually pretty respectable for that battle. Locust and the trebuchet took damage, and that was it. Wow. That's pretty good. Pretty darn good. Um, gonna quickly look. I don't think we've got enough to assemble a, a uh, hunchback down here, but I just thought I'd take a quick look to see if we have any other parts. Now we don't. And how close are we here? So we don't have any adder parts either. All right, we're getting close though. Getting very close. This this is a huge win for us if we can get this. I think we would replace the uh definitely replace the locust with this guy. All right, but I'm going to leave the episode here guys. We got lots more to do on this planet, but we'll, that'll be cut in the upcoming episodes. If you like the video, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.